and we hit our boy, he's gone. Okay, hey everyone. Um, since the first video was a big success, and um, I got like we got ten thousand views on the first video, and I'm <laughs> I was extremely shocked when I saw how many people were interested in seeing um this kind of tutorial so yeah we are back uh with weapons this time around so again silent gear apotheosis and i'm going to give you a quick uh introduction into those two yeah first of all let's have a look at the base versions we have of like the kind of weapons we have and first of all we have the sword um we have the katana the knife machete a dagger and an, uh, an axe you can see at the bottom we have the DPS values of each of those weapons. At the end of the day, those four at the front are not interesting for us as they are as they are better options, which are in our case the dagger and the axe. The dagger is better for general and kind of a loot situation, and then the boss mob is for the really chunky boys. So we have um, like elephants. I will show that shortly, and um, also the um, one of the bosses in the outer um, area or the outer i think it's the outer right um the idea um axe is just a better option but even with this one you can most uh, you can one shot a vida so yeah this one is like you only really need this for like two mobs and besides that i would recommend actually going with the dagger and yeah first of all let's have a look why the dagger and why the loot so to give a quick insight here um the important part is here the loot pinata this one is actually a kind of a low chance. I really hope it's now working in this video um, that we get this. And let's uh, kill a couple of zombies. Oh, no. Oh, it happened. Um, <laughs> they were not supposed to come outside of the barrier, but um, maybe you noticed the explosion in the middle of it. And our inventory is full of or zombie hats, rotten flesh and all the other kind of items you can get. And the important point here was the explosion. This is the loot pinata, which gives us, like, you get normally stacks full of items from whatever you need. So if you want to kill, I don't know, you have a farm and then you just kill the uh, the mobs and then you can get, like, a full inventory of chicken, uh, rotten flesh, or whatever item you may need. So this is why I'm uh, going with the dagger. And also it has the highest attack speed, so you can, like, just spam it. And you don't have to... Oh, there was another one, right? Right, so yeah, inventory full of items, and that's the biggest benefit of the dagger because we can't put this on the axe. And then we have the axe, as I said. Here, the important point is mostly that we have a armor piercing and current HP damage um, enchantment, and also it has AOE, so a a area of effect, so it can hit multiple targets, which is also really good. But yeah, this one is really good for the big ones. And for that, let's have a look at a elephant. Not sure if you've seen that one before, but it's actually the mob with the most HP in the game. With 5 million, and if we wait until our bar in the middle is full, and we hit our boy, he's gone. So as you can see, uh, this weapon can one-hit kill every, mon uh, every monster in the game. Um, and yeah, so let's have a look, right? How, how, how are we making this? Um, I can move, move this now. Um, let's get to the materials as always. Um, this time I actually added in some easier options because the last time I really just mostly showed the high level stuff, but I think some of the ones here are really hard to get. So first off, I will show you the, the optimum. So the ones I made down here are made out of Tyrian steel, which is the last one from, from the mod um, of Silent Gear. So you can get this one made out of, um, you need the metal compounder. So you need Crimson Steel Ingot, which you can get through the Nether. You have the Azure Electro Ingot from the end. You have um, Shulker uh, Shells, which you get from the end. And then Netherite Scraps, and then you get four Steel Ingots. Um, that's the first one. Then we have, um, and here the alternative is Enderium, which is really easy to get. It might sound pretty hard, but actually it's just made out of... Uh, let's take a look at the dust, actually. So we need lead or land. Um, and that's really easy to get. You can find it like it's as common as iron. Um, then we have diamond dust. For that, you just need whatever kind of tool which can like break down uh, a diamond. And then we need ender dust, which is kind of similar. Like here, you need a macerator or an inscriber to get it. But this one is like almost on the same level as a diamond, like of like how hard it is to get. But the power I can quickly show it. This one has an attack damage of six. And if we have a look at the diamond. 
it has attack damage of three. So by just adding the uh, ender eye, uh, the ender pearl, sorry, you double the damage. So that's definitely a quick and easy upgrade for all your tools in general. Like even going back to the pickaxe I showed you in the last video, Enderium is like the best, like the be best object you, ha you can have unless you are like end game. Um, next up, we're getting to the tool rods. So those are the tool rods we can use, uh, or which I would recommend. We have Titanium, which is definitely the best. It has a attack damage multiplier by 1.2 and a flat damage increase by plus 2. Um, however, it's really hard to get. You have to go to, through the whole Camlip uh, mod pack. I have not touched this one at all, really, so I have no idea how hard it is to get Titanium. But in general, I always try to like not recommended ones where you have to start something completely new. So instead you can actually just use a blaze rod or a bone. Both of them have a the same multiplayer, like the bone again 1.2 and here this one is also 1.2. The reason why this one is actually a bit better, you have the reach bonus and it's also flexible and malleable. So you just, um, it takes less damage. The tool takes less damage. So yeah, would be a small upgrade. So starting with the bone, and then the blaze rod. You can actually upgrade all the parts of your tools. So for instance, let's take, take a look. We have here my dagger I, I made, right? Um, I could just take this diamond piece, this diamond dagger piece, and I can replace it. So right now this one has the Tyrion steel as I, uh, as I explained, and you can just take another piece and then it replaces it. And you keep even the old one. So here this is the, the one with the high level, and then you can just like switch them back and forth. That's a really big benefit of styling gear, in my opinion. So you can just upgrade each of the parts. So you start, for instance, at Enderium, a bone, and then the other ones I will get to. And then you can just like keep upgrading and eat adding, uh, keep adding to the to the tool you're working on. And it even works like when it's enchanted and all of those things, as you saw, like it was already fully enchanted and I could just replace the resources. So you can just start with the basics and then keep improving from there. Next up, uh, we have the coding. Sadly, there at least I have, um, I don't know, a cheaper one. The cheapest one is Netherite. The more expensive form is Fireite. Um, this one is from Elemental Craft, where you need Netherite and then Swift All Alloy and a couple of other pieces. But here I would recommend again Netherite for the quick option. Um, there's a small difference in the um, attack damage. So we have here a, a multiplier by 1.33. And here we have a coding with 1.5. So this one is a bit higher, but at the end of the day, uh, it's just a small change. And that is it for this. Let's move it out of the bar and let's get rid of this. Um, then we have a cheap one, which is the tip. Redstone, um, it's the best one here. It gives us a, a um, attack damage and attack speed bonus. And then we have for the grip, we have wool or phantom membrane. Again, kind of similar again. Here only the benefit of the membrane is that we have a ancient trait which increases the XP drop by blocks and mobs. So yeah, it's just a small upgrade here. If you want to use it for farming experience points, you can do the upgrade from wool to the membrane. Okay, um, I'm also going to repeat actually this part uh, I made in the last video because well, there were some uh, issues with that the field of view. The microphone was not the best at that time point of time. So I'm going to show it again how to upgrade your materials because um, here we are just at a starting point, so to say. So we need, um, let's start with one here. We need um, two ingots. Uh, let's two ingots. We need one netherite, one redstone, and then one membrane. Okay, so now we are good um, with our uh, inventory. And now we're going to have a look at the grader. So this is the material grader. It's part of the Silent Gear um, mod. And you can have a look here, like the progression in general. Again, uh, you can walk yourself through this whole mod pack for this. And then you have the material grader at this point to upgrade your tools. For that, you need a catalyst. Um, there are different kinds of catalysts. Um, we have like some cheaper ones which are, for instance, the glowing dust, which is just a basic one. I think glow dust, yeah, quartz, glow dust, and stick. Um, but I'm going to use, in this case, the um, old catalysium. Cat cat oh, well, I can't <laughs> even pronounce it properly. So, yeah, we're going to use this one instead, um, since it's just uh, quicker and gives us a higher rating quicker. And... Now we got it. So yeah, again, uh, to explain the difference between 
a graded and a non-graded object. So this one is non-graded. And then we have here the graded one. This one is the max level, as you can see at the top, it's the second line, not graded, graded. And the attack damage increases from, 10, uh, from 8 to 10.4. And now we're going to do this quickly for the other ones. So this, this. Yes, and ring. Perfect. Um, also to give you a quick introduction on like how to use this. So I have just this pipe which just puts back all the resources um, always in. So if I put it here and the lens here, it just goes back until it reaches the maximum. And the other item I was using is the time in a bottle, which uh, increases the ticks of every single object in the game. You can use it on like everything. And it's really helpful for stuff like this. Um, so you can just easily speed it up. And yeah. That's it for the grading. So now everything's max great. And next up, we're going to have a look at the starlight enchantment. For this, you need a multi-block um, setup with the charger in the center, and then the pillars in the corner, and then you need a um, kind of cap, I think it's called in the mod pack. There are uh, three different types of caps. You can see them here at the end of the mod pack. You have the starlight charger pillar cap, the starlight charger, oh, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, the Crimson Steel cap, you have the Azure Electrum cap and the Tyrian Steel cap. This one is the best one. Again, it gives you the strongest enchantment. And here again, we need a catalyst. Um, you can just find the resources. Like here, there's different levels of this one. Again, with the Azure Silver one, for instance, is the tier two. And this way you can now um, enchant them. So this is going to boost them again. I can quickly make a duplication of mine so we can compare it easier so we go from this to this again here we can use our time in the bottle to speed this up and we have it now fully enchanted so from not graded we go from 10 to 10 point uh, from 8 to 10.4 to 13.4 so by now we almost doubled the damage and i'm going to quickly do this for all the resources oh. i know oh yeah the um, Actually, one point, uh, one point I forgot to mention this time around, um, the material charger needs a charge and this it gets only during the night. So let's quickly switch to the night. And as you can see, it now starts to fill up. And this is also getting boosted by the uh, air, uh, time in a bottle. And yes, and now the last thing. And now we have all the resources. Okay, perfect. Um, then next up, we're going to combine all of our resources to make our tool. For that, we need um, a crafting table and the blueprints. So the blueprints I have not showed it so far, shown it so far. You can like generate them relatively easily. Uh, just, just like this, you need a blueprint paper and like um, this replaces, so to say, the, re the resources and the blueprint is just blue dye and paper. And you can collect all of them in the blueprint book. So I already did that. As you can see right now, the selected one is binding blueprint. So binding, we actually don't have one. I checked there's not really a good reason to add it. You can add it to make it more efficient repair wise, but nothing is boosting our power. So I just left it out for simplicity sake. Um, so we're going to do the dagger, right? So we're going to put our Tyrion steel ingot and the dagger. And then we have the max level enchantment here. Same for the tool rod, the two of them, we get it to time two rod, then we have the coating, the grip, and the tip. Now we just set it, uh, put it together, so we have the dagger part, and we add the coating, we add the redstone tip, and we add the grip at the end of it. So already we're pretty close, so we're at, well, 28 damage and 3.5 in attack speed. And then, well, this is the max level one, so we're getting, uh, definitely getting close to what we want to reach. And again, we're going to Apotheosis, which is the um, kind of enchantment part of this whole thing. Um, first of all, I would just put in all the enchantments which you typically can get. In this case, we have Sharpness, definitely. I think this is the basic for everything. Um, then we have Unbreaking. Um, Warpool is really good. It, it increases like you have some like critical hits, which give like a high damage increase. Um, then we have Looting. Scavenger also really good. It gives you more loot. So I definitely for our weapon really important. And then we have uh, mending logically and then sweeping edge, which gives you more area of effect um, hits. So also a good thing you can add onto your weapon. So now we have this. Let's go quickly. 
that's also switch to daylight way better um and now we're just adding our enchantments so we're going from 28.13 damage to 34 so that's already a great upgrade and now we are going to do the um reforging so with the reforging may be similar to other games you have played um most likely like arpgs like diablo or whatever you can have different rarities so in this game uh, in this mod pack from apotheosis i can't talk today anymore um there are five levels so we have common uncommon rare epic and mythic and logically we're going to use this one um, you can get it in the end, like you can deconstruct different weapons. So if you have a weapon which with a certain rarity, you can deconstruct it. So I can quickly do it with my uh, fully enchanted one here, right? So if we do it with this one, for instance, we would get the gold forged pearl. In this case, we got three of them. And um, then the other thing is the gem dust. For the gem dust, you just have to salvage different gems. Um, you can get those from the different boss mobs, which should spawn randomly around your game. And then, or you can also find them in different chests as loot. And then you can just like, at the same table I just showed you, uh, this one, you just put them in and I can do that also. Let's take a duplicate. Ah, now it's sorted my box. Um, you get gem dust, right? So those are the things you need. Um, I'm going to use Godforge Pearl, but you can also use the other ones, um, especially since you can always like reforge them over and over again. Right, so what are we looking for? Um, so as you can see, um, we have the enchantments on the top right. So for instance, this one gives mod drops, which get tele teleported knowledge, and we get free sockets and we ignore durability. So in general, what we are looking for is definitely the loot pinata, which we don't have. That's the one thing I showed you before. So we're going to do it again. And here we have it already. Um, there's also different chances. So for instance, as you can see here, the um, slain enemies have a 5% chance. And here it's only 3.5% chance to get the loot pinata. And the thing we're looking for is um, at best a combination of the loot pinata and then high damage and high attack speed stats. As you can see at the bottom, like our attack damage here is 34 and a attack speed of 5. And here it is 39, 39 and 4.9. So kind of this one has a good mix of both actually. Um, so I will for this showcase just pick this one. Um, the other things to keep in mind, you have also the crit damage, life steal, and the sockets. Um, those are also really helpful. I would recommend to go for something which has as much sockets as possible. And also something which has like crit damage, life steal, or crit chance. Those are the ones which I think are the, the best ones. I think the elemental damages are not really helpful. In many cases, the damage is just too low. And um, so yeah, I would go for more the base versions. Um, about the sockets, you can actually fix that. So I'm going to show it on, on this one. So now we only have two sockets, but we have a really good enchantment otherwise. Like, right, we have the damage, we have the speed, and we have the loot pinata. And about the sockets, you can actually increase the amount of sockets um, your weapon has. This is really advanced. So in general, as I said, I would recommend to go for as many sockets you can have in generally, in general. But in this case, um, you can, if you have like an amazing enchantment, you can fix it afterwards with the socketing. So for this one, um, you can create it by um, first making a sigil of socketing. For that, you need gem dust, you need amethyst shard, a lodestone, which I think is made of netherite and some other stuff, and dragon's breath, which you get from the end uh, by using like a bottle on the um, at a dragon's attack. So you can farm the dragon's breath. And then you would need to enchant this. Um, doing infusion enchanting, this is like a completely separate topic as well, where you need like th those values to enchant then this object to this one. So as I said, it's really hard. I just want to quickly give a showcase that you can do it. Um, and then you can just add, right now we have three sockets and now we have four sockets. However, that's the maximum. So with this one, you can like always fix your sockets at the end of the day. Um, let's put it back. And now we have our enchantments, we have our reforge and we have our sockets. The last thing we're now going to add is the um, gems. 
So for the gems, those are the kind of options we, we have. Those are also the max level ones. Again, we have here the same way of um, the gems. They go from common ones to the mythic ones. And um, you can uh, improve them by using gem dust and like different levels of them. So if you have a low level one, you can improve them. Um, I think I mentioned it in the last video. If not, you can also ask again in the comments. But in general, you can like combine some of those materials with a gem and then a um, and gem dust in this table, in the gem cutting table. You can improve them and then you need two of the same kind, of the same level to reach the next rarity. So you can go from, from common ones up to the mythic ones. So you can just trade them up kind of. And yes, so to get to the different kinds of gems we have, we have the ballast, ballast gem, which increases attack damage. We have the breach gem, which uh, increases um, the attack range or the armor piercing. So this one is, for instance, really imp interesting for the axe. We have the ender search gem, the one I already showed in the last video, which uh, improves all the enchantments, also really good. We have the gem of earth, increasing sharpness, logically. And then we have the gem of the warlord this one increases crit damage which is good we have the one for crit chance which is the samurai one and then we have the tyrannical which is um damage based on current hp damage however one thing to uh, keep an eye on here and we have heavy weapons and light weapons light weapons are swords and uh, and daggers and actually almost all weapons heavy weapons are only axes so in this case the thing we can use for our dagger are the five on the top here um, the thing I, I've seen the best um, performance so far was by combining the Ender Search gem, the Earth gem, and then the Crit Chance ones. So we have the enchantments here, and then we have the Crit Chance and Crit Damage. Okay, so um, let's have a look. So this is the one we have not enchanted yet. We can add in our different gems. And now we have our fully upgraded uh, dagger. So as you can see, this is the one we now made. This is the one I made previously. And um, yeah, we are pretty close. Like logically, I, uh, I spent a bit more time re-rolling the different stats. But at the end of the day, this one is already at a point um, where you don't really need anything else. So I, I made this quick room to showcase what I was talking about uh, with the Wither skeleton. So uh, with the Wither actually. Um, so soul sand and we're making quickly our own oops that one's too much and then let's use the one I just made which is this one in the front okay okay so we had <laughs> some small difficulties for a second uh, let's go back um, again. Uh, yes, this is the white one, the one I just made. And yeah, well, this one took two hits. Uh, it, it depends if you get a critical hit or not. If you get a critical, you won't hit them. Um, if not, then, well, then you have to take, like, it's still taking, like, I think, like, two or three normal hits, and then it's um, one critical if you're lucky. And with that attack speed, you can just, like, spam the button and you have no issues at all. Um, now I'm going to quickly prepare all the things we need for the axe. As I said, um, actually the things are here the same. So we're going to use the same base materials. Just um, the enchantments are going to be different. Okay, so now I prepared the um, the axe version of what I just showed you uh, before. So as I said, it's the same materials, the same uh, steel, tool ward, redstone, whatever. So it's the same thing. Um, as you can see, our current damage is 35 um, hearts and then um, a attack speed of 1.7. And the thing which will be different with this one is, or the one thing we have to look out for is with the reforging. So what I'm going to show you here is um, the different values you should look out for. So really important for us is crit chance, crit damage, armor piercing, and a total, what is it called again? Let's... I forgot the name. Current HP damage. That's the one. So um, you might have to re-roll a couple of times to find the one you are going to, you're needing. Um, I would recommend also to try to avoid knockback because in general, if you want to kill something, you don't want it to run away. If you kill with one hit, 
that's another thing, but you're just wasting um, the one slot, you uh, like with the knockback. So in general, try to find one which ha doesn't have knockback. I would say let's try a couple more times. So just put it back in. Uh, also knockback. Good chance, overheal. Okay, let, last try. If not, I would just go with whatever I got at that point. Okay. And um, this is it. So this is the, the reforge we're going with for now. Um, at the end of the day, I would recommend something like this as I have here. With crit chance, crit damage, current HP damage and armor piercing. And now we're going to do the socketing. And um, that's why I also du duplicated them because it, uh, I needed the gems for this one again. Some of them at least. Because as I showed you, um, there are two gems which we're only going to use with um, the, uh, the axe which is the Breach Gem, because this one gives us a base armor piercing of 70%. So we're definitely going to use this one. And then we have the Tyrannical Gem, which gives us the base current HP damage. So same thing here, we're going to use this one. And then again, I would go for Crit here actually. So I, I didn't go with the enchantments this time around, but instead with High Crit and um, the other values. Also, let's quickly Add another socket. Okay, and now our axe is fully enchanted, fully reforged, and now we can use it as I showed you on a elephant, for instance. So sometimes uh, the if the luck is not with you, you have to hit it like twice or three times. Oh. Yes, so this is a good demonstration uh, what, when you miss something. Uh, we are missing the enchantments. So we have to quickly do the enchantments. Exactly. And going to add those to our axe. At the end of the day, again, those were the same ones we just had. Um, sadly, some of the enchantments are not working on this one. But again, we need mostly the sharpness and the whirlpool. And well... This one is now easy, logically, but um, even now... Ah, two hits this time around. So yeah, it's a bit luck-based. If you get a critical hit, you one hit them. If you don't... Oh, yes. <laughs> the critical hit was so strong that it uh, one hit. I killed also my music in the background. So yeah. That's it for the showcase of the weapons. As I mentioned, I think the, the dagger is really what you need for your day-to-day -day killing. And then there's the axe, which has a lower attack speed as well. So you can only really swing it with like the big effect, like every two seconds. So you, you have to wait for it. But then it's in many cases, it will one hit kill, as you can see, most of the things in the game. And that is it. So yeah. Um, again, thanks a lot for all the people who viewed the video, who gave, wrote comments, who liked the video. And um, yeah, we'll definitely have a look again if there's any requests either for Apotheosis or Silent Gear. I will have a look. I think Silent Gear wise, we're pretty uh, much through. I could maybe give a tutorial, make a tutorial about both potentially, if people are interested in that. But I think especially Apotheosis, I could give a more thorough introduction, especially in the infusion gear. I will have a look at, uh, at that potentially. Um, and that is it. Then, yeah, thank you for, uh, for watching and I wish uh, you all an amazing week. Thank you.